Hello students and welcome. Today we're going to focus on the next part of your Wax Museum project. Part one was all about reading and understanding your person and then completing this research section. Once the research is done, that will help you with the next portion, the five paragraph essay. The five paragraph essay will take a lot of this information, if not all of it, and turn it into a five paragraph research paper, which will eventually turn into your speech. But you also have to write a grabber, a thesis, and topic sentences for each of your paragraphs. Let me show you how. To get things started, we will give you each a paragraph paper for every single paragraph that you need to write on. And we'll have this checklist to make sure that you are including everything you need to include in each paragraph. So for this one, you have to first indent that you see my paragraph symbol here, and then write a grabber. Your grabber sentence is something that introduces your person, but really grabs the reader's attention. And then you follow this script. You're going to put the person that you've studied names and their three character traits. So for example, if I was talking about Milton Hershey, I could say, Milton Hershey was a very famous chocolate confectioner, and he was perseverant, hardworking, and determined. Then you jump into your second paragraph, or your second sentence, I should say, where you mention Hershey's early, middle, and later life experiences have influenced him in many ways and have made him into the famous individual that he became known for today. This is your entire introduction. It has your thesis, it's introduced the person, and if you're wondering where I got the three character traits, that's from my research. The three character traits came in part C. And the other information is really just following the script. After I have completed my first paragraph, you'll get the second part of the five paragraph essay. Now the second paragraph is all about the early life. And once again, you get a checklist with this, but you do need an introduction topic sentence. Once again, if you follow this script, you'll be good to go. You're going to give your person's name and then mention that their early life made a major impact on what they are known for and eventually became famous for. Again, if you look back on your research, what your person became most known for is part A. So if you know your person's name and what they are most famous for, let's say they were a president, it will look like this for your topic sentences. George Washington's early life made a major impact on the president that he became eventually famous for in his future. Something like that is all you need for your topic sentence. And then this part right here, early portion of your outline or your research will have all of your details and examples. You don't even have to match it like we used to for informational or for argumentative essays. You just need to take the information about their birth date, birthplace, their family, and their education and include it into this five paragraph essay to make sure that you've covered everything. Moving on to Roman numeral three, nothing more than again indenting having a topic sentence, which again would look like this, your person's name, middle life made a major impact on what they are known for and eventually became famous for. Let's say you had a famous gymnast like Gabby Douglas. Gabby Douglas's middle life made a major impact on the famous gymnast that she eventually became known for later in her life. And then all of the information about the middle life is again back on your research. The middle life are the major events that you researched in her middle life from the book that you read. The goals that she had and the obstacles or adversities, they all become your details and examples here for Roman numeral three and the five paragraph essay. Following the same exact routine, you move on to Roman numeral four, the later life. A person's major, excuse me, the person's name in their later life made a major impact on what they became known for and eventually helped them become famous. And let's say you were, I don't know, a famous athlete like LeBron James. LeBron James's later life made a major impact on the superstar basketball player that he eventually became famous for. And then all of the information for his later life would be right here, Roman numeral four. These are all of your details and examples that will go into that paragraph. You're going to wrap it up in a similar way, by the way. Person's name made a major impact on their life. To wrap up this entire five paragraph essay, we have a conclusion. The conclusion checklist is right here, just like everything else. You're going to indent, have the person's death information or current information if they're still living, and then wrap it up. 
So, just like we did with the other paragraphs, you mention your person's name, you say that they died on what date, or if they're still living, what they're currently doing, and then how they died or current information. To wrap it up at the very end, you follow the same type of script that we've been following for our topic sentences. Throughout the individual's life, they were an influential person who lists their three character traits. Once again, that comes from your research. And then you say, as, mention your person's name, wrap it up. They know they will always be known for that or what they've become famous for. All of that information comes from the very beginning, once again, not just the death information, but right here. If you introduce your person, give the three character traits, it all goes into your five-paragraph essay. I hope this video helps. Thanks.